a different video. Um, it's going to be a get ready with me slash Q and A. Um, I'm about to go on a date with Chip. So I hope you guys like this. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. I'll give you a few seconds before we roll film. And then catch me at the end. Bye guys. So this is going to be a get ready with me slash Q and A. Um, I'm about to go on a date with Chip. And it's going to be kind of the first one in a little bit of time because of the moving stuff. Um, it just wasn't prioritized. So now that we have heard back, we have been approved. We will be moving in on Monday, um, which is super exciting if nothing goes wrong. Um, but that is pretty much the plan. So we're going on a date tonight. We're going to go to a concert um and see some folks who we both enjoy and yeah so you guys are gonna get ready with me now i am not a beauty guru at all so don't expect beauty guru perfection i don't know what i'm doing i don't know the techniques i mean i just do what i've seen and what works on my face um, I will show you the products that I'm using so that you can at least have that. But this is also going to be a get ready with me slash q and I did ask some for some questions on Facebook and on Instagram. And I don't remember if I asked on Twitter or not, but I definitely don't have any from Twitter. Um, so go ahead and follow me on my social medias. They are down below. Um, so that you can kind of get updates or kind of be a part of these types of videos sorry i don't like wastage um so yeah go ahead and follow that now i don't have another mirror in the room that i'm in or it's not convenient and i have to go in about 30 so minutes so i don't want to take too much time trying to set up and this already took too much time and i gotta try to look semi deso and beat um so let's get started the first question that I have is going to come from Instagram and oh gosh I'm so sorry if I pronounce this wrong but I will go ahead and put it below her name um, from Instagram and I'm just gonna call her Char. Char asked if or what are the top five things in life that not only get me motivated but also keep me motivated um which is a really intense question i haven't thought about any of these questions beforehand i'm just kind of like going for it so you're going to get raw answers but i think the number one thing that motivates me and keeps me motivated is obviously my relationship with god um it's it goes up and down and i have you know moments where i'm like super confident in who i am and who i am as a christian and who I am with Christ and then I have moments where I need a little bit of help but the good thing about relying on someone other than yourself for your kind of self-worth is that it's always there and I feel like my relationship with God I can always come back to I can always lean on that and I need to get a new blender because this bad boy is falling apart if I can get you to see that yeah not doing so hot but we're gonna make it work um but yeah so <laughs> it sounds so crazy yeah so um but yeah so that's like the one thing that keeps me motivated and like solid um because even my number two thing is definitely my husband like my husband is 100 percent amazing and he you know um he believes in me and has a really strong view um, of me and who I am and what I can be and he just supports me wholeheartedly um, you know even when I don't believe in myself wow this looks so yellow in this camera that's crazy um, but he believes in me even when I don't believe in myself which means a lot to me because a lot of times I can be my biggest blocker um, and he can really keep me motivated um, and also like 
having God as my number one really helps because I'm not my standard anymore. Like a lot of times if I want to argue or if I want to get into it with him or if we have a disagreement, we have a third party there that is a higher standard than ourselves, um, which helps us to keep in perspective to do the good for everybody, not just ourselves, but like our kids, the people around us, the people we want to influence and, you know, um, affect. So that is the second thing that keeps me motivated. I think the third thing is my children. Um, you know, a lot of the times I have to think strongly about what I'm doing and how it's going to affect them. And so it also causes me to really be motivated to get down to things. Um, even with like my self care, um, I, you know, I do it for myself, but I also do it for them. I want to be my best for them. I want to be the best mom that I can be. So I try to do what's best for them. And um, that keeps me motivated. Um, a fourth thing four, that keeps me motivated is um, my art. I really like being artistic and using that really um, inspires me and challenges me in other areas of my life and kind of keeps me grounded, which is awesome. Um, and then I think that the fifth thing that keeps me motivated and kind of motivates me is my dreams. Um, because I do have a lot of goals and dreams and things that I want to accomplish and see accomplished in my lifetime and just having those on the forefront of my mind really helps me to kind of remind myself what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, um, and, you know, like, what it what it's all about. Like, it's, you know, I think it's good to have goals and dreams, and I think everybody should have them because you got to have something to strive for, um, and you got to have a ground zero, and then you got to have something that calls you higher and calls you to do more. Um, and for me, it's my goals and my dreams, which... You know, I may get into those an hour later. So, oh, I didn't even show you what foundation I use. Sorry, guys. Um, so this is the Makeup Forever. There we go. Um, Ultra HD and the color I use is probably on the cap, which I don't have because I'm not good with my makeup. So, yeah. Um, and the reason it looks yellow is because the room that I'm in has yellow lighting um, and it's throwing everything off, but I'm not this yellow, I promise. <laughs> um, I feel like I'm doing my whole routine wrong. I am. Dang it. It's okay. enjoying um and I want to continue so that's that question now let's move on to some other ones which originally this was going to be a video with chip so the next few questions are for both of us but I'm just going to answer and we'll probably do another Q&A um in the future near future like next week or the week after that so go ahead and leave some questions in the comments below and I will reference those in the video coming up either next week or the week after probably the week after in two weeks we'll say in two weeks um so that'll be the one that we do so this question sorry that's chip um this question comes from summer pearl browning and she says what are some of our favorite things to do together and funny pet peeves um so we really like experiencing things together so like concerts um even if they're like free concerts in the park and things like that um we just like to experience new things together and do new things together um because we think that that really you know strengthens your bond um we also like to be artistic together and talk about artistic things together um i think that those are some things that we really like to do. And I didn't show you guys my concealer. I, I'm just, I'm, see, I told you I'm not a guru. I'm not. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, so the, I have the BH Pro Studio Concealers, BH Cosmetics. Um, I really like them. They're super affordable. And then I used, 
uh, the Physician's Formula bronzer. The highlighter that I used was from e.l.f. I feel like all these are going to be backwards. Um, so someone asked, I'm going to try to get these quick ones out of the way because I feel like this video is going to be really long. Um, so someone asked, who cooks more and who's the better cook? So it's actually two different answers for that one because I cook more simply because I'm home with the kids. Um, but Chip is way better at cooking than me. I'm a terrible, I mean, okay, I'm not terrible. I, can, I got my few meals, but I'm not very good at it simply because I don't like it. I like to bake and I know you're going to be like, those are diff the same thing. They're not, they don't feel the same to me. Um, so the palette that I'm going to use is also from BH Cosmetics and it's called Nude Rose. Um, it's not super pigmented, which I enjoy for like more natural looks, which is cool. Becky asked, how did he propose and how, uh, do you have the same love language and how long have you guys been together? So I'll kind of answer those differently. So we have been together, uh, we celebrated our fifth year anniversary this year. Um, so we have been married for five years and we were dating for four years before that. Um, so, and then we knew each other for about a year and a half or so. Um before we actually began a dating relationship. So total, it's been about 10 years that we've known each other. Um, and for those of you who are going to ask, I am 25, he is 29, and yes, we dated when I was in high school. Moving on. Um, it wasn't anything scandalous. We actually had a completely pure relationship. Um, I'm going to leave it at that. That might be another video. And then how did he propose? So he proposed after a meeting at church. It was like a church meeting and my parents, I hadn't seen them in a really long time and he had them come down to watch him propose and it was really cute. And um, he said that he wanted, you know, to be my last first or my last dance as a single woman. Um, so he danced with me to the song that I will link below because it's super cute. Um, and we just danced and then he got down on one knee and proposed and the ring didn't fit on my finger because I'd gained so much weight since I'm assuming he asked what size I was and I'd gained weight. Um, so he, the ring didn't fit and I refused to take it off because I was like, it's been four years. I wanted this ring. I'm not taking it off. And... <laughs> I, at some point, I, like, my friend convinced me, like, Ashley, you have to take it off. It's not good for your hand. So I did take it off, but I ended up, uh, my fingers were swelling. And so it got stuck on my finger, and we had to, like, basically butter it off, um, so that I didn't have to, uh, go to the emergency room. This is gonna get really weird, because I'm about to use you guys as a mirror. Don't judge my skills. <music> almost put this on my eyes. This is a lipstick. Should I wear red lipstick? I'm gonna wear red lipstick because it's date night, but I'm gonna mix it with some pink. Um, let's find one more question. So that is a lion. Um, so Zoe McNeevil, McNeevil, Forgive me if I'm saying that wrong. Um, posted a question and I will leave the questions below again. But she said, do you get along with each other's parents? So Chip gets along with my parents really well. Um, and that's honestly one of the reasons why I like married him. Because like there was going to be no way we would have worked out had he not been able to have a good relationship with my parents. Um, 
just because I'm so close with my parents. For those of you who don't know, I'm adopted and they are amazing and I love them so much. So obviously whatever guy coming in had to be okay with like me and my family. Um, and me and his family, we do get along. It took me a while um, just to feel comfortable like being a part of their family. But now, like, I love being a part of their family. Um, sorry. But yeah, I love being a part of their family. They're great. Uh, oh gosh, you guys are probably like, what is she doing? Oh my gosh. This is just not going well. It's just not. All right, we're gonna let this dry before I try to do anything else to this because I'm looking a little crazy. All right, well, this is what we're working with and I'm getting ready to head out, but I just wanted to come in real quick and thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you are subscribed, welcome back, darling clan. Um, this wasn't our usual vlog, but I wanted to give it a try and see kind of what it was like. And I had a lot of fun filming it. So if you wanna see more things like this, go ahead and leave in the comments below. And don't forget to leave any other videos that you wanna see or do not do see us do um and if you have any ideas for questions for the next q a with chip and i um go ahead and leave that also in the comment box below and thank you guys for watching thank you guys for watching <laughs>